Hey guys, it's me Halo here. Today I have another unboxing, or most likely a, more like a haul, basically. I went to my uh, a thrift shop and I found a whole bunch of clone troopers. So I got these two, and something I wanted to point out is they kind of look exactly the same as him that I unboxed earlier, except for these have battle damage. As you can tell on the chest and on the here, on top of the uh, the helmet there. And if you can see on the sides. So you know, getting a army going. And this this bad boy I found. Thire, I'm pretty sure. I've been waiting myself to get my me uh, commander here. It looks wonderful. There were two of them. One did not have the, uh, the skirt here. I'm just going to call it a skirt. It's probably something. But it's so well done. You know what? The pistols right there. Looks really good. And then he has the uh, visor, the binoculars. I don't know. It's probably military terms for all of them, and I do not know. So, and then it was a huge steal. And also some similarities with these two again they these ones they have like the uh, the antenna mold so the antenna could go onto him as well so uh, you know that's something that's something and then the main attraction here i found this bad boy it was in this plastic container here So, and it's brand new, um, hasn't been unboxed before, and I think they just put this ceiling over it to protect it, which is really smart. Whoa, I just noticed, I don't know if that's just me, but that looks yellow. Yikes. I don't know. So it opens up like this here. Sorry about that. And it opens up like this. So, you know. That's neat. Oh yeah, the pricing. So, this one costed $19. The captain here costed $7.99. And then both of the troopers costed $5.99. So, that's... Huh. Not, not, not too bad. Oh man, I'm. I got the uh, the Captain Rex in this series, and then the Droid in this series, and the R2. That's all I got, and then I eventually bought this one, and I don't think I ever got any of those. But I'm so glad to have this figure. I mean, it's Jack or Reese or whatever you want to say. Oh. That comes off. Oh no. Eh. It won't be all together. So. I'll unbox it off screen. Well. So. I just wanted to go over this background. It's just. It means a lot to me. I mean. This is the best background before it got like the, the Yoda or the Darth Maul in the corner. This was a good background. They should have kept it for more than just one series. It should have been like three series or something. So, like all action figures. Oh, does it not come with a plate? Am I tripping or something? There's no base plate for him to stand on. That's interesting. There's no, there's just no base plate for him to stand on. That's interesting. Well, that came out smoother than the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, it was my main problem last time. You see, 
and he put it on his left hand. I mean, it's they're, they're right when manufacturing it, but when he's going to shoot, he's shooting with his left. I'll fix that later. So. Oh, man. There we go. I just, so, I'm always careful, you know, because it was one of my figures. It was, it's always with Mega Bloks. Like, I bought one off of um, eBay, and then I had him for like two days, and I could not bend his leg, his, his knee. I couldn't bend it like that. And so I tried with all my might, and then the entire knee just came off completely. So, with every figure, I always make sure that it's complete, and that everything, you know, can move, the articulation's good. How does he not have... Oh, he doesn't have wrist joints. Uh, that's interesting. So, this, like, they, they, they put the rubber band there, but it's on his left, so I'm just gonna change it anyway. So... This is a course on guard. I'll read on the back here, like it says right here. These elites and highly skilled clone troopers are under the command of Commander Fire. They are assigned diplomatic escort duty for high-ranking officials of the Senate during the Clone Wars. They also defended the capital city from separatist attacks. So, you know, the invasion of Coruscant. So it says StarWars.com exclusive. Uh, don't know what don't know what that means. Eh. So, for some odd reason, he doesn't come with a base plate. I'll just use the uh, the old five hundred first one that I had gotten earlier. So. <laughs> I've got Thire and his trooper. The gang. So, both of their paint are basically exactly the same. His is a symbol. His does not. Interesting. His shoulder plates don't come off like the, the 501st trooper here. Yeah, I glued, I glued the thing on. So it wouldn't pop off because it was pointless. I thought it would have like the um focus there. Thought he had the um Imperial logo underneath it. Alright, back to the figure. Eight minutes crap. So his helmet does not come off and the articulation's pretty pretty standard for Clone Wars Clone. He is outward on the shoulders. Inwards, oh, wrong way. Just don't, don't want to break him. Don't want to break him. So he's not yellowed. None of these are yellowed, thankfully. Um, some do have battle damage, but that will be fine. Yeah, let me try to get these guys standing in the background for you guys. I always use stands because my table is pretty shaky. And they just fall over like mad. Ooh. Oh no. Oh boy. This is frustrating. All right. I give up. So. So. This figure's pretty nice. I enjoy him a lot. I love the Clone Wars. Very good. So. Hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I'll see you all later.